My name is Chris Anderson. I am the medical director for my practice and the chest wall reconstruction clinic at Advent Health for Children. So the two most common types of chest wall abnormalities are sunken chest or pectus excavatum and then pigeon chest or pectus carinatum. Unfortunately, both those defects worsen throughout the growth spurt or adolescence. Someone might decide to have this surgery not only because of their improvement in their psychological health based on the appearance of their chest, but children with pectus excavatum can compress the heart and lungs, uh, resulting in poor athletic performance. And for the pectus uh, carinatum, it can result in improved lung expansion. Fortunately for pectus carinatum or pigeon chest, surgery is uncommon. We have this new invention called the pectus brace. This is an actual brace here in my hand. Uh, it can be worn under your clothes or it can be worn on the outside of your clothes. And the longer you wear it, the quicker the correction of your pectus carinatum or pigeon deformity. The brace is worn where this bigger plate is on the back and this front small plate is in the front over the greatest protrusion of the pigeon chest. This is form fitting for you and you dial it in on the levers on the side to help increase or decrease the amount of compression. And this brace again is form fitting for you by a local brace shop. There are a few ways to treat the pectus excavatum. We like to start with the least invasive or non-surgical means, and that's with an invention called the vacuum bell, which is made in Germany. The uh, bell is placed over your chest where the chest is sunken, and the patient squeezes this little bulb and it pulls the sternum up to the uh, vacuum bell. Again, the length of treatment varies on how often the child does the, uh, wears the bell, and most importantly, how deep or how severe the defect is. If this least invasive or non-surgical treatment does not work, the next option would be surgical. And that's where we place a bar surgically behind the sternum to lift the sternum up. With my length of experience with this operation in nearly 20 years, the biggest advancement has been the cryoprobe or the temporary freezing of the nerves. This has been a game changer and the fact that it's the discomfort after the surgery is so much less, the children are back to normal activity in a much quicker time. In the past, these surgeries were usually done over the summer because the children are in the hospital for up to a week and recovery was four to six weeks after the surgery. Now with the cryoprobe or the temporary freezing of the nerves, the recovery is much quicker and the surgery therefore can be done any time of the year. This has resulted in a much quicker recovery. In the past, children in the hospital for four to five, even up to uh, seven days, now they go home in 24 to 36 hours. So once you've completed your short stay in the hospital, when you're at home, I encourage you to ambulate or walk around. You can participate in aerobic exercises like bicycling and treadmill, and you can swim one week after surgery. For children that are involved in athletics, uh, you can return to certain sports. However, children that participate in contact sports such as rugby or football cannot participate in those sports for two years while the bar is in place. 